Hi, I'm Molly Dugan. I'm the Advanced Cardiac Therapies Program Social Worker at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. I'm Chad Mao. I'm the Medical Director of the Advanced Cardiac Therapies Program and Heart Transplant Program at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. As a social worker, I'm involved in all the phases of transplantation related to heart. I begin to develop rapport, begin to get to know the patient and the family, talk a lot about what to expect at the time of transplant in that first critical six, 12 months after transplant in terms of how do you cope and how do you help your child manage how they may be feeling. Do a lot of assessing for needs, um, trying to link them, particularly with GTF, who's one of our greatest supporters for our families, and just other types of resources they may be available to have based on their child's medical condition. I am Rebecca Moshiri. I'm the Director of Patient Services with the Georgia Transplant Foundation. Molly is so devoted to the families that she works with, but also to transplantation as a whole. Molly's just passionate and caring, and she thinks things through and is able to give us ideas for sometimes for, for gaps in um, the programs that we have. I love working with Molly because she gets to know her patients and their families so well. She really learns what's happening in the family and how they can be supported through the transplant process. She is able to um, really send us information that we need in order to assist families about what's going on in their life at the moment, how transplant has impacted their finances, and how GTF can support them um, through paying household bills or through covering insurance premiums for the family or co-pays for medications that the kids need to take every day. My name is Teresa Carter and this is Jasleen Carter. On October 29th of 2021, we um, got a scary phone call from the daycare that Jasmine was currently in at the time that she had stopped breathing. At the time, we thought it was a seizure. Later on that night, we did find out that Jasmine had restrictive cardiomyopathy. We found this out at Eggleston in Atlanta. We spent some time on the um, cardiac ICU floor where we got to meet Molly and three of her cardiologists. Molly was a breath of fresh air for me. She was very calm and very humble. Molly is a huge help. She not only coordinates everything, but she also lets me know about any resources that could be helpful. She also is the one that introduced me to the Georgia Transplant Foundation, which I had never heard of before. Through the Georgia Transplant Foundation, it, they were a huge blessing to our family. They provided um, gas money for my family to get to and from the hospital for visits, which was crucial for me because Jasleen was so young at the time and I was worried that she was going to forget her siblings and her dad. And Jazzy had three cardiologists. One of them was Dr. Mao that we probably saw the most. He vouched for Jasleen um, multiple occasions to move her up on the transplant list and we are very appreciative of that. Dr. Mao and Molly were both always good about listening to any concerns that I had. They made me feel like I had a voice in my daughter's childcare. If um, the parents of Jazzy's donor, if they, um, if they were to ever see this, I would really want them to know that, that I think of their child every day. I consider him or her in all the decisions that I make for Jazlyn. I'm sure that um, it wasn't an easy decision for them and we're just so grateful that in the midst of their own tragedy that they decided to save another one's life. I think my big role with the Georgia Transplant Foundation is to help represent Children's Healthcare Atlanta and help represent children uh, and the needs and the advocacy that, that they require and that Georgia Transplant Foundation has historically been very generous at providing. So without the support of the Georgia Transplant Foundation, um, our families wouldn't have access to transportation assistance coming to and from the hospital after transplant. Through a meal assistance program that, that we can tap into with Georgia Transplant Foundation, we can help families have a warm meal. Housing opportunities that Georgia Transplant helps us access are phenomenal. That just is just a game changer. And I know for sure that this foundation doesn't exist outside of the state. I'm friends with many 
heart transplant social workers around the country and I'm a little, I feel a little guilty if I start talking about GTF in front of them because it's just not available. We're, we're so very fortunate. One of the greatest joys of my job are the people that I work with uh, and Molly is no exception. Molly is by far the strongest advocate for our patients. She is very passionate about transplant and about ensuring that our families are taken care of in not just the medical aspects of their care, but in the holistic portion of their care, making sure that their non-medical needs are being met. And as physicians, sometimes it's very easy for us to get very focused on the medical aspect of care and sort of forget about some of those non-medical things. And, and Molly is there to keep us focused on, on some of those things that sometimes we forget about. It's, it's a great joy and honor to work with Molly. I learned a lot from her.